Hi folks, uh, thanks for joining. When I was down in Charlotte at the Antique Radio Meet, I ran across a, uh, a gentleman that had a whole box full of these tuning condensers. Um, various um, sizes, so I got a bunch of three gain, four gain, um, single gain, uh, like you see here. And uh, the capacitance varies uh, anywhere from static uh, to variable, from um, so, you know, some simple patterns um, all the way up through uh, four to 500 uh, picofarads. So a uh, great find, a whole box for uh, 20 bucks. Couldn't turn it down. Anyway, uh, bad weather came through the area last night. Uh, more rain this morning, mid-afternoon, and uh, really high winds. Skies have finally started to clear. A uh, few folks have uh, got the mowers fired up. I've got my yard work done for the week. So um, anyway, I thought I'd play around. I had this uh, ferrite material that I purchased uh, some time back, and I actually was uh, doing some cleaning up, and I saw it. And I said, you know, what the heck? Let me uh, get that out, and let's make a little ferrite antenna booster. So uh, that's what you have here in front of you. It's nothing more than a, a variable tuning capacitor or condenser, uh, as I like to refer to them as. Um, the value on this one, I checked it on the LCR meter, I think was around uh, 15 picofarad up to 450 to 460 uh, picofarad. And uh, what I've done is make an inductor, again, by uh, winding some uh, 24 or 26 gauge wire here on this uh, piece of type uh, 61 ferrite. It's a half an inch in diameter, seven and a half inches long. So um, I've wound all the way out to each end, uh, maybe less, a uh, quarter of an inch or so on each side. And uh, that gave me uh, right at, um, you can see just north of uh, 300 microhenries. So if you plug that into an LC calculator, these different ranges, you'll see that I can be uh, easily have a tuned circuit that would uh, get me below the broadcast band and above the broadcast band, and that's exactly what's occurring with this. Anyway, here's the uh, simple uh, schematic. Hopefully this is showing up. Again, it's nothing more than just a tuned circuit here um, with L and C. And um, again, you can see that I've got my uh, Type 41 uh, ferrite here um, on this side. Again, the uh, coil wound um, all the way through, again, and checking it somewhere just north of uh, 300 uh, microhenries. And again, the uh, variable capacitor. So uh, real, real simple design. But uh, I wanted to make it because I've got a nice little loop antenna. It's one I bought, not one that I made. So its uh, sensitivity is so-so on it. But um, having this uh, tuning condenser already having uh, ferrite, I thought I would just see um, what kind of boost I could get to the RF level and um, through inductance tie that back into the uh, existing loop stick antenna on my uh, Sony radio. So let's give it a try here, see what kind of results we get. One thing interesting to note here before we try to pull in uh, AM550 out of uh, Statesville, North Carolina, I was just doing some research on the uh, ferrite antenna itself. And uh, there was a patent actually issued it dates back to 1939, so uh, it just shows you how far back, you know, and people were thinking ahead, and uh, that's what I love about engineering. Um, you got these uh, deep uh, thinkers, and they're just thinking uh, ahead. So it was many years past before the uh, ferrite antenna actually was uh, born and used on a regular basis, and again, it's since started to shrink especially uh, transistor radios and such. You know, the ferrite material with some uh, Litz wire around that to form the inductor and the antenna uh, was a perfect match. So I just thought I'd share that real quick. Okay, with the uh, volume up just a bit here on the radio, you can hear uh, AM550 just a bit, maybe in the background. Again, it's not a uh, usable signal, nothing I'd want to sit there and really listen to for any length of time. So let's pull the uh, ferrite antenna here that I made in closer. Again, the other loop stick antenna or loop antenna 
uh, is integrated into this radio somewhere here on the top side. So just through inductance here, we'll tie the two together. And then uh, we'll just uh, tune the uh, tuning condenser. So there you have it. You can see the uh, difference there in the amount of uh, gain that we get just by adding the uh, ferrite antenna as a uh, booster through inductance back to the existing uh, antenna. So I hope you found that helpful. Again, the uh, schematic is uh, straightforward. So for those out there, uh, you know, watching, you can see how simple it is. Just within a matter of minutes, you can put this together in your shop. And for those that don't have maybe the uh, ferrite uh, material, you can still get, uh, you know, I think satisfactory results just using a uh, coil of wire. Uh, around a, a paper tube or so, maybe a hundred turns or more, and um, get uh, some added value that way. If you happen to have an old uh, tuning condenser, maybe give that a try as well. Um, anyway, I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Hopefully the uh, weather will continue to improve soon, and uh, I'll have the uh, time and opportunity to get back on the uh, cabinet on the Zenith and for everyone that watched the video on the Silvertone radio much appreciated I haven't had an opportunity to respond to the comments yet but I will um, but I think I will go ahead and restore that one and I'm going to do something different I'm actually going to start with the cabinet since I'm uh, going to be stripping the Zenith 5S uh, 127 or 129 uh, cabinet. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, take advantage of all the uh, raw materials and time to do that and we'll get that silver tone uh, stripped and we'll take a closer look at the uh, veneer see what we can salvage on it and I'll probably just do both uh, cabinets at the same time. So folks thanks again uh, for watching. Hope you found this helpful. Take care.